up guys good morning it's early sunday um i told everyone in my stories this week i was going to do a live um, strength workout so a live weekly workout essentially is what i'm doing today so i am here to do that this morning it's a little earlier than i normally would but i have soccer to go to so i got to get it in now before games all right so we're going to really do upper body focus today and then what's called a which I haven't done in the post, which I, um, are, it's called a lower body finisher. So five upper body moves, um, and then two moves that we're going to focus on the lower body to finish the workout. So today, because we're going to be doing so much with our upper body, I want to start with like a, like, you know, just a warm up. you know, just get your shoulders warmed up a little, um, back and forth. Whoa. Here we go. Skip. Maybe you can do both, front and back. We're gonna be down on the ground first with a little core, um, core stability move. And then we're gonna move up to some curls, the punch, some chest flies, a bent over row, and then a chest press. And then we'll finish with the legs. All right, so now I want everyone to just kind of get on the ground if you can and put one leg forward and the other back and sort of stretch out the hips. Stretch out the hips. You can lean up and down. Switch. Just got to get the body warmed up a little before we start. I'm just kind of moving as I go. All right. Do some squats here, some quick squats. Pull your arm to the side. Stretch it out. Get the other one. Quick warm up. Quick, quick, quick. Quick one. Okay, so the first, first move we're going to do is um, a core stability move but it uses the upper body because you have to hold yourself up. So you're gonna go down like a plank. You're gonna put your knees down, okay? And not here, that's not where your knees go. You wanna have them back a little bit. You're gonna use your hands facing forward, shoulder width apart, and you're just going to go up with your knees and down, okay? Up, down. Now, if your knees are back far enough, you're going to feel your midsection. Use, that's what's doing all the work. So your hips aren't moving. It's literally your knees coming up and coming down. Okay, so now that you've seen, we're going to, seen that, we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's the first move. So 30 seconds, here we go. Knees up and down. Up down, back is straight, up, down. Everything's slow and controlled. Keep going in this rhythm. If you have to pause while you're down for a couple reps, that's fine. Down, keep going, up, pull your belly button in. You're using your whole upper body to hold yourself up when your knees come up. You got about 10 seconds to go. Up, down, okay, five more seconds, good, knees come up, back is flat, one more, good. Okay, so now you're going to grab your dumbbells. Now, you might want a variety as we go through these moves, um, through, through, as you begin to strength train, because certain moves you can, you can lift heavier and other moves you want a lighter dumbbell. So I'm going to use an eight, and the first one is called a curl punch. So, so you're going to take your dumbbells like this, and you're going to curl up, right? And then one punch, punch, back down, curl up, punch, punch, okay? So you're not doing this full, you know, it's, it's not this, it's, Halfway, 
punch. All right, so let's do those for 30 seconds. Again, it's not about reps. It's about, it's about time and going slow and controlled. So the first one, ready? I'll stand to the side. Here we go. Curl up, punch, punch, down. Nice and slow. Up, hold it in the middle, punch out, punch out, down. Curl up, halfway, punch, good. Okay, again, it's about slow and controlled moves. And down. Okay, you've got about 10 seconds to go. Punch out, punch out, down. Pull up, good. Down. All right, we're going to do two more. Here's one. Come down. And there's the next one. All right, that's our second move. Our third move, we're going to keep these dumbbells and we're going to do chest flies. Okay, so hold them here. You're going to chest and then you're going to press up. Okay, so our arms are a little fatigued, but that's okay. We're going to come in, come out, up. Okay, keep going. We're 30 seconds starts now. Up. In, out, up. Slow and controlled. In, up. In, out, up. Again, I have eight pounds. You can have six, twos, fives. Keep going. We're about halfway. Good. Slow and controlled. Good one. Let's do one more. Good. All right. Okay. We definitely need a break for our shoulders now. So we're not doing any more presses, but we're going to do some rows. Okay. So these are called bent over rows. You may need to go down and wait if you have multiple to choose from. I'm going to pick up the eights again. Okay. Now, a bent over row. You can use support with this, but we're, we're just going to bend. So it's not, you're not, this is not it. You're going to hinge at the waist. Okay. So your back is straight. If you pull your belly button in right here, you're going to strengthen your back as well. So it's going to naturally stay straight. So you're going to want to hinge, hinge at the waist, hold the dumbbells, belly button in. Here we go. So it's just a row. Pull in and down. Pull up and down. Okay, here we are. 30 seconds. Hinging at the waist. Good. Back is flat. Core is tight. Think about the movement. Come up nice and slow. Now, if you need support, you can always find a chair and just put your knee on it. I've done that before in some of the videos, but this one we're going to just hinge at the waist and row up. Okay. Hinge at the waist and row up. All right. Good. Keep going. Pull up. Good. Let's do one more on each side. Here's one on this side and one on this side. Okay. All right. So our last move, hey Duke, our last move is going to be the chest press. So you're going to get down. Now, normally this might be a move where you could get some heavier weights because you're going to be laying on your back pressing up. And typically you can lift more in that position, but What's up, buddy? Hi. Hello. All right, you got to go. Go, go, go. 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so chest press. So you're going to lay on your back. Now, I got to move my mic over. Um, when you do a chest press, you are going to lay flat. Your dumbbells are going to be at a 90-degree angle, okay? Not this and not this, okay? Kind of at a, not a 90, my bad, <laughs> 45, more like a 45 degree angle. So you're going to come down, 
and twist up at the top. Come down, twist up. Come down, twist up. Down, okay? Slow and controlled. So that's the move, all right? So we're gonna start now. Here we go, 30 seconds, Nine, uh, 45 degrees, oh my gosh. Here we go, up, come down, press up, 30 seconds. Come down, press up, come down, up, good, come down, press up, nice and slow. Everything should be nice and slow and controlled. You don't need to speed through these moves. The more tension you put on the muscle, the more it grows, the stronger it gets. So it's not about speed. Good. All right. Let's do two more. One. And two. All right. Those are five moves. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back up and do, uh, actually, no, we're gonna stay down. I just gotta put my mic back on, clip it back in there. We're gonna stay down and we're gonna do our knees up on the bottom. So stay down here. You really just had to flip over. I just had to put my mic back on. Here we go, knees are back. You know what to do now. And we're gonna start 30 seconds up down, slow and controlled. Those are the two words of the workout. <laughs> up, back is flat. The only thing that should be moving are your knees up and down. No hips, no rocking. So down, keep going. Good. Again, take a break if you need to. It's 30 seconds, but if you can do 20, great. Good, up, down, good, here we go, let's do two more, up, down, one more, and down, good. All right, curl punch, grab the dumbbells, we know what to do now, we're not going to wait for instruction, here we go, curl up, punch, punch. Good, and down, up, punch out, punch out, down, curl up, okay? Now, if you're finding this is too much, you can just eliminate the punch, okay? Or you can curl up with one, punch out, okay? Curl up. Punch out, whatever works for you. So wherever you're at, we got about 10 seconds to go. Punch, down. Pull your belly button in when you're standing here too. It strengthens the core. Everything is strong. Good, one more. Punch, punch, okay. All right, shake those out. We're ready to do our chest fly. So. Fly, press up, okay? In and up. All right, so grab your dumbbells. Here we go. Get them up. Here it is. In, out, up. Down to the middle. In, out, up. Down. In, out. Keep going. Good. Nice and slow. If you're getting tired, you can take a break, meaning just skip a rep, but get back in it and try to do it for the 30 seconds, whatever you can do in 30, okay? Up. Okay. Good. Got about five more seconds. Three, two, one. Whoo, that burns the shoulders. Good. All right. Whoo, whoo, whoo. All right, here we go. Chest, not chest, bent over rows. We're going to row up. Okay. Remember, hinge, just hinging. None of this. Strong back, straight back, hinge at the waist, pull up. 
Okay, so we just did a lot of pressing. Now we're going to do some pulling. Pull, hold it, down. Keep going, 30 seconds here. You know what we're doing now. Okay, pull, hold it, down. Pull, hold it. Good, nice and slow. Good, keep going. We're about halfway. Down. Good job. Maybe getting fatigued. Just stick with it. Keep going. Back is strong. Core is tight. Lift it up. One more each side. One here and one here. Good. All right, let's do that chest press. Get yourself on the ground. Here we go. Dumbbells, you know how to hold them. I'm going to just lay down, 45s, ready, press up, and down, press up, nice and slow, down, press up, and down, keep going, up, and down, press up, down, Keep going, slow and controlled, good. Got about 10 more seconds, nice. Don't let your elbows lay on the ground when they come down. Hold those elbows off the ground, okay? Here we go, let's do two more. One, slow, and one. All right, I just remembered we don't have to stand up. We're going to just flip over, flip over, and ready for the knees up and down. Here we go. Flip it. All right. Get yourself, get your knees back far enough. Hands under your shoulders. Here we go. Pull that belly button in and knees up. Up, down, up down. Keep going at your own pace. Down, knees up, and down. Good. Knees up, down, hold. Good. If that's too much, you can always go down on your forearms. You do it like this. That's totally fine. Okay. Hands are straight though. 10 more seconds. Good. Keep going. Five more seconds, not moves. <laughs> it's three, two, one. Whew. We're working those arms, friends. Holy mackerel. All right, this is our last round. So we're at curl punch now. All right, so curl, punch it out. You know what to do. Shake those arms out. Don't worry, at the end, we're going to work those legs a little bit with what's called the finisher. So here we go. Figure out how you want to do it. Here we go. Dumbbells to the front. Curl up and punch one, punch twice, and down. Good. Remember, if two dumbbells are too much, just use one. Okay. You know what we're doing, this is our last round. Good. Keep that belly button pulled in. Good. Keep going. Punch out. You got about 10 more seconds. Punch out. Punch out. Down. Good. Whoops. I'm trying to think of too many things. Here we go. Good punch. Let's do one more. Good. Last one. All right. Put those down. Shake the arms out. Chest flies. And again, this is our last round. So yes, I know your shoulders are tired. Your arms are tired. And that's going to happen. But just take it at your own pace. Okay. That's the most important part. And just sticking with it because you will get stronger. 
as you do more. Okay, chest flies, get them up. So we're gonna, okay, here it is. So we're in, out, up, down, halfway. Come in, come out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up. Good. Here it goes. Keep going. It's our last one here, too. Ten more seconds. Woo! Hold it. Three moves. Not, I mean, three rounds, five moves. We're almost done. Let's do two more. Curl in. Up. One more. In. Out. Up. Holy. All right, we got rows and some press, chest press, and we're done. Okay, shake those arms out, get ready for the next one. Bent over rows. So grab your dumbbells, whichever ones you want. Hinge at the waist, back is flat and straight, belly button pulled in. Thinking about keeping your core tight, your back straight, and let's row. Okay, row and down. Row up and down. Row up, down. Good. Keep going. Nice and slow. Slow and controlled. Good job. Our last round, so this is good. Keep going. We're about halfway through the 30 seconds. All about form here, not about speed. Keep going. Pull it up and down. Good. Here we go. Good. Let's do one more on each side. There's one on this side and one on this side. Good. All right. Get down on the ground. It's our last chest press, and then we're going to get those. Legs working. Lay it down. Dumbbells in. Here it is. Come down. Up. Down. Get up. Good. Again, don't let your arms hit the ground. You're holding your, basically your triceps should not hit the ground. You're holding the dumbbells off the ground when you come down. Good. Slow and control. Up, down, hold, up, come down, 45 degrees, and up, come down. All right, we've got about 10 more seconds. Come down, and up. Good. Let's do two more. And there's one, down, and two. All right, guys, that was three rounds, five moves. Our upper body is probably on fire. That's a good thing. You know, stuff's got worked, so that's always good. All right, so now what are we going to do? We are going to finish, we do what's called a finisher. And a finisher is basically not five moves three times. We're going to do two leg moves and we're going to go through three times. Okay. So here is what I mean when I um, say you might want heavier weight. So your legs are stronger and you can probably hold more, but the first thing we're going to do is no weight. Okay. You're going to get in the squat position and you're just going to step out, but you're going to stay in the squat position. Okay. So we're just going to give those arms a rest and work these. Okay. This is the first one. Now the second one is gonna be a pulse squat. So this is where you can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells, or no, no dumbbells, really. But I'm gonna use two, because I think, I think most of you can probably do this. So here it is. So you're gonna pulse, pulse, stand. Okay? Good, like that. Okay? And then the finisher, again, it's only two moves, so we're gonna go quick. 
pulse. We're going to get that lower body moving. Okay, so if you don't use, you're just going to stand like this. Squat, squat, stand. One dumbbell, you can use one like that. That's how you do it. Okay, so let's start now by getting down low and we're just going to tap out. Okay, so stay here 30 seconds. Wherever you want to do it with your hands is fine, but this is, this is where we're going to stay. Okay, we're going to give our upper body a break, but we're going to kind of get those legs moving in the system too. All right, keep going. Tap out, tap out, stay low. You're not coming up for a break. Okay, keep going. Good. Step, tap, tap, tap. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Now, this one you get sort of a break because you get to come up. So pulse, pulse, stand. Grab whatever you want. If you want two weights, one weight, or no weight, here we go. Pulse, pulse, stand. Good. Keep going. This is it. We're done after this. Probably feel stronger, hopefully. Your arms may be tired. And that's all right. Good. Halfway. Pulse, pulse. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Pulse, pulse. Squeeze at the top. Okay? Squeeze at the top. Good. Good job. Keep going, guys. I know this is tiring. I know your legs are probably tired too now. Here we go. Good. And good. All right. Put those down. Shake your legs out. We're going to get back down. Ready? Tap out. Tap out. That's all you're doing is tapping out. Stay low. If staying low is too hard, Stand up. Just stay moving, right? That's the key, movement. Stay, stay low if you can. These muscles right here, your quads, are going to be engaged. And get bigger and stronger. Here we go. Keep going. Almost done. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay. Pulse, pulse, stand. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Almost done. Here we go. Pulse, 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 pulse. Squeeze at the top. Here we go. Squeeze at the top. Good. Here it is. After this, we have two more moves and we're done. In and out of here. This is what it is. Doesn't take long. Just committing to three days a week. 10 more seconds. Pulse, pulse, squeeze. Good. Here we go. One more. And good. All right, that's it. One more. Two more moves. One more time. And we're out of here. Whew. Feels good, everybody. All right. Here it is. Here, tap. Squat or stand, doesn't matter. Fast or slow, doesn't matter. Whatever we're doing here, we're doing it for 30. And the key is just to not stop. All right. Good. Good. Keep going. Got about 10 more seconds. You can do it, everybody. Come on, you guys can do this. I know it's getting hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Last move. Last move. All right, so I'm gonna challenge you. If you haven't used weights yet, get one. Just one, not both. If you're using body weights, try this this time. Just try one. 
You got 30 seconds, okay? And then we got both. We're gonna hold it down and we're gonna go. Pulse, squeeze at the top. 30 seconds and you're done for the day. Good. Yay. Here we go. Come on. Squeeze. Halfway. Yes, let's go, friends. Good. Pulse, pulse. Squeeze. Good. 10 seconds. Everyone can do it. Here we go. Good. Woo. And let's do one more. One more. Yay. All right. Done. We did it. So that is the weekly workout. Those are five moves, strength moves, upper body moves. And that's how you go through it. You just see the five and you go through the moves and you repeat it and then you do it again and again until you're done. So that finisher was really just a counterbalance using the upper body, but we're doing the lower body, but that's always good too. Your legs are your largest muscle group. So the more they're activated, you know, the more calories you burn, you know, th that kind of stuff. So it's good. It's good to just work it all. So I hope everyone has a good Sunday. I got to go watch some soccer and that's it. So I'll see you guys later.